So, you have chosen to learn Pure Data. That is a fantastic life decision you have made. This video will cover basic topics to help you get started on using PD. In the next several videos, we will learn about sound synthesis and implement what we learn in PD. I'll be uploading separate videos on additive synth, subtractive synth, envelope, and FM synth. All right, let's dive into the basics. Okay, first thing is to download PD from puredata.info, and don't worry, it's free. Once you have downloaded it, open up the app, go to File, and click New. And now, we have a blank canvas called a patcher, where we can create any sounds imaginable. But, let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. We need to learn how PD works before we can start making sounds. Let's begin by learning about Object. So, the way PD works is by connecting various objects together. One of the ways you can create a new object is by going to Put. Here, we see a bunch of frequently used objects and the shortcuts. It's worth memorizing these shortcuts, by the way. Click on Number, and then click anywhere on your patch to place the Number object. Right now, we're in Edit Mode, so we cannot interact with the object. In this mode, we can only move objects around and connect them via virtual cables. In order to switch into a mode where we can interact with our objects, simply press Command E. Or we can go to Edit and toggle between Edit Mode, like this. We can tell if we're in Edit Mode or not by checking the top of our Patcher window next to the name of the Patcher. Notice the difference? And now we can click and hold on the Number object and move the number up or down by moving our cursor up or down. But what if we want to go from 0 to 3000? It will be painful to scroll up to such a high number, right? What we can do is click on the number object and type the number that we want. One crucial topic that we should cover is the concept of a bang. Think of it as a button, much like the one we use every day. When do we use a button? When we type on the keyboard. When we press the button on our game controller to make a character jump. Or when we click on the side button of our phone to turn it on. In Pure Data, we can trigger or activate certain objects to do specific tasks by using a bang message, which can be outputted by a button object. Okay, similar to how we added a number object to the patch, let's add the button object. There. Right now, it's hard to see how it can be used. So, let's add more objects and we'll eventually see the button in action. Let's next add a message object. This is another useful object and we'll see it in action very soon. Okay, we can actually start patching these objects together. Make sure we're in edit mode and move these objects together like so. Put the button object at the very top, message box underneath it, and the number box at the very bottom. Objects in Pure Data have inlet and outlet. Inlet is located at the top of the object where it can receive an input such as a number or a bang message. And outlet is located at the bottom of the object. This is where the output of the object is sent out. For example, button object sends out a bang message from here. So the direction of the signal flow goes from top to bottom. Bring your cursor to the bottom of the button object, this is the outlet, and when we see the cursor change to a circle, click and hold. Do we see the patch cable? Okay, move the cursor to the top of the message object. We see that the top left part of the object is thicker. That's the inlet where we can connect the cable. Bring the cursor there and once we see the cursor turn into a circle, let go. Now the button object and the message object are patched together. Now, connect the message object and the number object in a similar fashion. Does your patcher look like this? Fantastic. What's next? What do we make here? While still in edit mode, click on the message object and type your favorite number. Make sure it's not 3000 from earlier. And click any of the empty space of the patcher to confirm your number. Now, toggle out of the edit mode. But before we do anything, Stop right there. 
Don't click on the button just yet. What do you think will happen when we click on the button object? By clicking on the button, it will send out a bang or a trigger message to an object that it is connected to, which is the message object. Message object, when triggered, sends out whatever that is typed in it as the output. This outlet is connected to the number object, which can receive a number as an input. So, when we click the button, the number in the number object should change to our favorite number. Let's try it. And we were correct. Congratulations, we made our first ever PD patch. I know this wasn't the most exciting thing in the world, but now that we know the basics, we can actually start making sounds next. But I believe this was quite a lot of stuff to cover, so let's call it a day. In the next video, we will start learning about synthesis basics and begin making sounds in pure data. See you in the next class. Bye.